that many big discoveries in molecular biology happened by trying to find answers to very basic biological questions. And, and the ba very basic biological question that we are trying to address in my lab actually is how bacteria uh, defend themselves against viruses and uh, how different antiviral defense systems in bacteria function. We look at molecular mechanisms. We are trying to understand what are molecules uh, and, and proteins in, in bacteria that actually provide uh, this interference against invading uh, viruses. Microbiology has really been at the origin of the CRISPR-Cas9 technology because this is through the understanding of certain mechanisms existing in bacteria and also existing in viruses that we could develop all the technologies that have been used over the last uh, 50 years in molecular biology and also in genetics. CRISPR is an acronym that stands for Clusters of Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. It's a big mouthful, but basically what it means is a place in the bacterial DNA where cells are able to store genetic sequences that come from viruses. So they, they keep a genetic record of past infection. It's a fantastic way that bugs can acquire immunity to viruses. And it also turns out to be a powerful technology for controlling genomes because the enzymes, the proteins that are part of these CRISPR systems are effectively programmable DNA cutting proteins. In a simple way, CRISPR-Cas9 needs to be seen as a kind of, of scissors that are programmed to recognize a, a certain sequence on, on the genome of any type of, of cells and organisms. And these scissors will, uh, will cleave the DNA and this will trigger a genome modification at the site uh, uh, expected to be, to be modified on the genome. I think what makes the CRISPR-Cas9 technology unique and, and truly revolutionary is the way it works. It's, a, it's a, a, a technology that works by recognizing a short sequence of DNA using a, a chemical copy of DNA called RNA. And cells will naturally uh, make RNA molecules that program the Cas9 protein to find and destroy viral DNA. Scientists, now that we understand how it works, we can actually make our own uh, pieces of RNA that direct Cas9 to any desired DNA sequence. Now there is uh, for sure a tremendous potential in, in just research and development to uh, use uh, genome editing to, and to understand the functions of genes in human cells, uh, to be able to develop novel anti-infectives by finding uh, new targets for for therapeutics by developing models of, of diseases that are more clinically uh, relevant. Cas9 could be used to correct uh, mistakes in the DNA that cause genetic disease and uh, this could help us to, to uh, actually cure genetic disease that were incurable for, uh, for a long time. Cas9 technology also can uh, allow us to introduce different changes in the DNA. This is important also in an agrobio field because new uh, plant varieties could be engineered that actually could be resistant for, for uh, pests or droughts or, or other in environmental uh, factors. And it's easy to do, so it makes it trivial to make uh, new tools for any part of the genome where a change is desired. I really do hope uh, that with regard to the CRISPR-Cas9 technology, that it will uh, reveal to be successful to treat at least uh, certain uh, human genetic disorders, and that it will have really brought uh, really uh, a plus in, uh, in the treatment, whether it's by, uh, with a direct application or indirect application in the overall field of, of biomedicine, really for the treatment of, uh, of uh, various types of diseases.